So give me your thoughts on prison reform and changes you'd like to see in the criminal justice system. Mm. I think one, uh, I would like to see more formerly incarcerated people who actually went through the prison system um, and who have gotten out and thrived a level of success to go back into the system to help create better curriculums into the prison system. After, during 1994, they passed the Anonymous Crime Bill. The Anonymous Crime Bill denied a lot of rehabilitation programs inside of the prison system. So from, from about 1996 to now, a lot of the systems have been stripped of real rehabilitation. And I'm not just talking about a GED. Uh, we're talking about Pell Grant opportunities where well, individuals able to go to college inside of prison. Now they're denied that opportunity. That's another thing that I advocate for and we, on a federal level is that they reinstate the Pell for allowing those who are inside of the prison to get higher education because the GED is not going to get you anywhere when you walk out of prison. It's going to keep you at a disadvantage when you walk out of prison. Um, and so I, I believe that they need to take under consideration the, the expertise of individuals like myself and others who have been in that system a period of time to create better programs to deal with the mental health issues, deal with the emotional adjustment inside of prison, outside of prison, and find out from me or in, people like me what made you successful. Prison didn't make us successful. It is things that we did individually that made us successful. So I always use the example like, Prison in South Carolina, I think they pay almost $40,000 a year for one individual incarcerated, right? So mm -hmm. imagine, I did 22 years in prison. I don't know the exact number, but they pay $40,000 every month, every year for me to be in prison for 22 years, right? So that's in the millions of dollars, right? Now here- it's about, it, Yeah, it's about 800,000. 800,000, right? Yep. That they got the state that taxpayers invested in me, right? So now here it is, I made parole, I walk right out with $800,000 of investment and you never ask like, man, how, how did you do it? And what could we do with this $800,000 that we invested in another person like you? How could we make more individuals, produ produce more individuals or produce an environment that will produce more individuals like yourself? You see what I'm saying? That's just mm -hmm. a business concept, like $800,000 you poured into me and many other individuals who have gotten out of prison and successful, and the Department of Correction or the governor never says, we need to sit down and talk to these people because they are the ones that are, 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 are the positive deviant behavior. They created a positive behavior after prison, and we need to figure that out. So I just think that they need to put more people like myself at the table of discussion when it comes down to policymaking and, and, and programs to help people inside of that system.